using Drobo apps. So today we wanted to give you an overview of our new Drobo apps as well as how to use them, understanding the lights, and uh, so right here we have one of our Drobo 5 and 2 products. So you can clearly see that we are not logged into the Drobo. So we can't access things like Drobo DR, tools, Drobo settings, or Drobo apps. So we want to ensure that we log into our Drobo before we do anything else. So we're going to quickly hit log in here. Remember everything is case sensitive, so make sure you type in your admin name and username uh, password perfectly. Uh, and if you do forget it, we do have this forgot password button here that will take you to a new prompt that will ask you your email address you registered with as well as the serial number for your Drobo. Now the serial number for your Drobo can be found in many places. One is under the unit, um, within your product registration page, um, or on your retail box if you still have that. So we're going to go ahead and log into this Drobo right here. Alright, so it's going to log us in. So we're currently logged in and now we have access to Drobo apps. Now in our all apps view, you can see every single app we have on the app store here. And if we wanted to click on one, you can see that they have a bunch of different light series under them. So right here we can see a Plex app, it's a media center app. So if we double click on the Plex app, we can see it's not installed by the no light showing. So we just tap the install button very simply. It will start the installation process and it's that simple to get an app installed on Drobo apps. Once this installs, uh, for some screens it'll take you through a configuration screen. On the top right corner you'll see a cog. You click on that cog and you'll be able to set any of the user settings or in this case for our Plex, if you already have a Plex account, you can use that to set the Plex account there. And just like that, it's all ready. Uh, you can see a green light indicated on the top right corner of the app icon. You also have the stop button to stop the app or the configuration buttons to configure the app. And always on the bottom left corner, you have our uninstall button. Above this install tab, we have a two icon over here. That lets us know that there's some apps that require your attention. Another indicator that your apps need some attention is there's a yellow up arrow indicated above the A for apps. So if you go ahead and click on our install tab here, you'll see we have one app icon that's stopped. It's red. So red means stopped. And yellow means there's an app update. So we're going to go ahead and uh, start our Drobo Pix app. So we're going to come into the Drobo Pix view and there'll be a play button here. So we're just going to say play. It's going to take a second to restart all the apps, make sure everything's running right, and it'll bring us back to our screen with hopefully a green light. The app is running, so it's perfect. And see the two is being indicated for these two apps here, so we're going to go through here. And we see that my Drobo has an app update, so we're going to come down here to the update button, and we're going to go ahead and click update. Now we can see here that the update's in progress. As soon as it completes, it'll bring us back to the install tab, as you see here. And you can see that all app icons are green, which means everything's running fine. Now to summarize the other lights again, yellow means there's an app update pending, and red means that the app is stopped and just needs to simply be restarted. For additional resources, visit myproducts.drobo.com.